hi everyone welcome to my channel today i'll be showing you how to make that beautiful beaded jerry design you saw my display picture uh it's simple and easy to make all you need to do is please follow the procedure and you understand it okay all right the materials needed include 0.35 millimeter fishing line size 2 sand bead i also have in my beading needle which is threaded already okay all right um here i have my cutter I have my presser to be able to pull my thread. All right. Now it's also important for you to note that the first layer, beca uh, because because the uh, displayed beaded jerry on my on my big uh, my display beaded jerry is in three layer form. So the first layer is twenty eight inches. The second layer is thirty one inches. Then the third layer is in thirty four inches. Okay. All right, to start with, the first thing for me to do is to pick 11 sand bead. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten, okay, and eleven. I want to pick eleven of my sand bead in this form. And you tie you tie to form a circle I'll be tying this two times you tie you can tie as many times as you want to so find your 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 shawl whatever you're doing is tight enough this is tight enough so the next thing I'll be doing is I'll try to cut shorten the fish the shorter fishing line so that it doesn't confuse my work all right okay so the next thing to do is for me to pass my fishing line into the next three sand bead this one okay see okay and you pull out if you can't pull easily you make use of a your presser to pull it's easier for me to use my presser to pull that's why i'm using my presser okay so the next thing I'll be doing is I'll be picking five sand beads. One, two, three, four, and five. Now you return it back to the fishing line where you use it from. You can see. So the fishing line you has it, it came out from. Okay. You repeat the same process. Pass a fishing line to the next three sand beads on this one. Okay. You have to be patient. Um okay. Fixing my needle properly, which I've done. Okay. Alright. Okay. From where I has it from. From this sand bead, you pick another five sand bead. One, two, three, four, and you five sand beads. Okay, and return it back into the sand bead you use it from. Same bead here. Okay, next thing to do is pass through the next three sand beads again, just like you did in the first process. Okay, pull and pick another five sand beads one, two, three, four, and five. Now return back into the sand bead where you is it from. Okay. You're meant to have four loops. Okay. So I'm about to create the fourth loop. I'm passing my fishing line into this. Okay. This is actually the first step. You know. You know. Once you have. These are the edges of your loops. One, two three and the fourth one please ignore background sounds all right so 
Now the next step to do is you pick three sand beads and begin to pass through the edges of those loops. <laughs> That's a sound by my baby. Okay, please. All right, so you pick another three sand beads, all right? And you pass through the edge of this loop. You can use your presser to pull. If you're finding it difficult to pull, just like I'm finding it difficult right now to pull. So I make it on my presser for easy pulling. All right. Okay. Now I'm to pass through the edge of all the three loops, uh, four loops rather. Here's another edge of the loop. Okay. So I'll be picking another three sand beads. One, two, three. And I'll passing it through the edge of those loops. You have to do that for the four loops. Do that repeat process again. Two, three. And you pass through the edge of this loop. This is another loop. This is the edge of another loop. Now I've successfully been able to pass through each edges of those loops so i have three in between them in between those loops i have three sand beads one this is one three sand be uh, three sand beads another another making four in all okay so now where my um fishing line stopped i'll pass my my fishing line here into the first and the second sand beads okay now at the second bead, you pick another five sand beads. You're about to create another loop. Two, three, four, four, five. So this is for you to create another loop. Okay, so you turn it back into the second sand bead. Okay, all right. So you take your needle back into the third um, sand bead. Okay. Now you want to go back into the second, the second nest um, sand bead. So you pass through this. Create another loop by passing five by picking five sand beads. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. You turn it back into this. So you pick another five sand beads. One, two, three, four, and your fifth one. So you return it back.
Okay. So here is the last three sand beads on ground that you want to pass through. You'll be creating another loop through this last three sand beads. So the next thing you do is exit from here, okay, from the third one, okay, then you pass a fishing line into the first second. And you create another loop. three four five okay then we turn it back now the concept is this because you have to continue from here and the concept is for you to be you join the edges of those loops these are the edges you know what all them the sambi that holds them together i call them the hedges like this one two so you join them by picking through three sand beads and in between those three three sand beads at the second um sand bead you know you create another loop let me show you that again you know you pick three sand beads two three then you return back you join you join the loop you join with the loop you know in this form now you repeat again you know join you join those loops you know with three sand beads all true and once you're done the mid at the middle of the three sand beads you create another loop that is how you continue until you get your desired um, shape all right thank you for watching and please remember to subscribe for more videos. Alright. Okay. Bye.